Has anybody ever thought about the amount of sheer confidence that YouTubers have? I mean, in addition to making videos on whatever topics they want, they also seem to be experts in making merch, building out massive businesses, and yes, even making video games. And so today we're going to be taking a look at about 15 different games that are either made by YouTubers or include YouTubers likeness in them. That's right, YouTuber video games, grab your popcorn, here we go. This game already looks like the biggest meme of all time. It's called Jacksepticeye's 1 million subscriber YouTube party massacre. Message for Jack. Congrats on a million subscribers. We did it. Thanks for being a boss. Stay awesome. High five. All right, let's see this. So this must have been made a really long time ago in August 2014. Jeez, how long ago was that? I think it must have been like seven years old. Jacksepticeye reached 1 million subscribers on YouTube. Congratulations to Jacksepticeye on such an accomplishment. That's so nice they made a Flash game. I wonder if somebody will make a Sambucha Flash game. This is the story of his million subscriber party based on true fan fiction. Oh no. So who are these people? Oh, look, it's Markiplier. Hey, congrats, Jack. Cool party, by the way. Thanks, Mark. You know it. Okay, so there's Jacksepticeye. By the way, thanks for managing the location, Wade. Who's Wade? Game's already pretty cool. Hey, no problem. Thanks, Wade. That looks like the Five Nights at Freddy bunny. I think that's what it's from. We got it pretty cheap, too. Okay, great. Oh my god, it's PewDiePie. So PewDiePie is also in this game. So we have Markiplier, PewDiePie, and Jacksepticeye. Let's try to talk to PewDiePie. Pewds, I thought this was a costume party. Ha ha. Well, you thought wrong. This is a congratulations party. The door's stuck. Oh no, this is my worst nightmare. Getting trapped in a room with YouTubers. What's going on in here? There's not a single YouTuber. Oh my gosh. Wade, no. Okay, so Wade, I don't know who it is, but Wade died. And here come zombies. There's three of them. So do I have to escape them? Oh, I could attack. There we go, Jacksepticeye. Oh, look at his kung fu prowess. Beat them both up simultaneously. Look at that. Uh, activate boss mode. Oh, look at him. You go, Jack. Wow, this game's sick. Oh, this is easily gonna be the best YouTuber game. I just slayed all the zombies. I wonder if I'm gonna find another big YouTuber in here. Imagine finding Logan Paul and he's like looking at something that he shouldn't be. Here it is, the key behind the bookshelf, of course. Oh, is that Odd Ones Out? Cry, cry. Sup, what are you doing here? Is that really Odd Ones Out? I've, I don't watch the channel, but I think that's it. Time to go. Wait, where? where's the key? Oh, it's all the way down here. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh, I'm getting hit. Okay, so I clearly have to kill them first. Oh no, we're getting destroyed. Good, get him out of here. Oh, I really have to regain some life. Good, okay. So what do I have to put in here? F-D-A-G it guy. Speed is guy. Speed is key. Having trouble? Press escape to skip. Oh, nice. So they're making an iShow speed reference. All right, so we made it in here. Time to shut off the power. Here comes a cutscene that activated too late. Who is that? Evie, is that his wife in real life? That's right, Sean, I control all the power to this building. Well, I need you to turn it off to open the exit. No, I won't let you leave me. Evie, come on now. You know this is life or death we're talking here. You will stay here with me forever, Evie. I know it's hard to accept, but I'm, I don't wanna be with you. Don't you dare wink at me. Oh, he's getting frustrated now. Destroy all the mainframes to shut Evie down. Oh, wait, I'm getting hurt. Oh no, this is like hard. Why is this low key hard? Okay, this is the hardest video game I've ever played now. It's giving me no time to like actually destroy the computers. I'm gonna die, I know I am. Okay, well, try again. No, I'm gonna go ahead and die. Jacksepticeye, 1 million subscriber YouTube party massacre. It's a, it seems like a fan game made that just has Jacksepticeye in it, but I had a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. That was, that was one of the best games I've played. So this next game we're playing is called World Boss, and this was created actually by Laserbeam, the YouTuber, who I'm positive that a lot of you guys watching this channel watch because I've looked at my analytics and that seems to be the case. I think this game has like mixed reviews. It kind of looks like Fortnite slash Valorant slash like every single game I've ever seen in my life, but we're going to play it and give it a fair shot to see whether this is a good game or not. So here we go. Oh, I have to find a match. So I'm playing with people. So it looks like there's no like local play. Everything's just connecting with others. All right, I actually joined a match immediately. Now bear with me. I am arguably the worst FPS gamer on this entire platform. Okay, so here we go. I can go pistol, assault rifle, burst rifle. I'm an SMG guy, a smeg guy as they call it. Okay, here we go. What is that? Oh... Uh... Come on, baby. Did I eliminate him? Yes. Wow, that's insane. I am so bad. That guy, I don't want to be mean to that guy in case he stumbles upon this video, but I am so unbelievably bad at video games. It's kind of crazy that you just died to me right there. Show upgrades available. Like, I have to look down at my keyboard to see, like, where alt is. Why are these people so good? No! He, oh my god. This is why I can't play these FPS games. All right, I get to respawn then. I'm going to play a whole full round to see how... how Far I can go here. I gotta find that one guy I killed already because he's clearly a bot and he's probably the only person who I'm able to kill comfortably. I'm in seventh place. Ooh. 
Can I, what if I kill this? XP generator, that's what I need. Level three. Okay, let's click alt to actually see what I have available. Okay, I got multi-jump. That's fun. Oh yeah, you see me? No, now, you, oh. Oh no. Wait, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Okay, I guess not. Can I switch my gun? Maybe it's, maybe it's the gun. Yeah, I'd like to think it's the gun. I only have one kill. Some people have 46 kills already. Headshot, headshot, headshot. See you later, baby. Oh, I see somebody. You're done. Oh my gosh, what's going on? I'm glitching. I'm literally glitching. And he's glitching too. We've just like merged and nothing can happen now. I think I got kicked out of the match for some reason. I will say I had a little bit of fun. I think that it's 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 playable. You know, the fact that Laserbeam made this and I guess he has like a DLC pack that I could buy, which I would never buy because why would I spend money on a YouTuber who makes billions of dollars already? I do think it's fun though. Like if you're looking for an alternative to whatever you kids are playing, Roblox, Minecraft, Pokemon, all those games, then, you know, this is it. So this game is actually made by Ryan's World. World, like the YouTuber Ryan K, whatever his last name is. He's like 12 years old. He has like a YouTube channel with 100 million subscribers and he's massively popular. Well, yeah, so this YouTube channel has created a game called Tag with Ryan and it has, I'm not even kidding, 10 million downloads on the Google Play Store, which is insane. The amount of money that Ryan is making is insane. So anyways, here we go. Let's run. This is Ryan, I guess. And here's what I could do. So, oh, so it's, it's literally Subway Surfers, but it's Ryan and he's playing Tag. And then what, do I just go to next levels? Wow, so it is, oh, okay, I got caught. I was just about to say how easy this is. You don't have enough pizza slices. I can't even do a free, this is how they're milking money. I die once, and in order to continue, I have to either pay for more pizzas or watch an ad. All right, here we go. My goal is to get to, what do I want to get to? Let's try to get to 10,000. Is that too ambitious here? And you could even like uh, slide cancel, which is fun. You can go like pretty insane with this. Here we go, Ryan. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. I could just stay down the whole time. All right, now we're running a little Winter Wonderland. Who is chasing him? I don't understand. It's like a panda. That's not realistic. If you were being realistically chased by a bear, you wouldn't be so joyful. Like, look at him when he jumps and he turns around. Let's try to get an animation where he turns to us. Yeah, like you wouldn't be happy. Oh, wow. That's gotta hurt. Speaking of which, if you've been seriously hurt in an accident, your injury could be worth millions. And America's largest injury law firm, Morgan & Morgan, does not settle for lowball offers. I mean, just in the last few months, they saw verdicts of $6.8 million in New York, which is 25 times the highest insurance offer, $12 million in Florida, which is 34 times the highest insurance offer, and a whopping $26 million in Philadelphia, which is 40 times the highest insurance offer. I know. Crazy. But that's not even the best part, because that is, you only pay a fee if you win, and they only get paid if you do, which means there's literally no upfront fee. So it's a win-win for everybody. And it's not hard to do at all. It's actually very simple. So you can start a claim with America's largest injury law firm, Morgan & Morgan, with just a single click. So if you're injured and seeking an injury law firm, you can start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash sambucha. That is www.forthepeople.com slash sambucha. Stay safe, guys. I could see this being the meta like next year. You know how they play like Subway Surfer videos in the background so like people's attention spans can continue on. They're going to start playing tag with Ryan gameplay. I mean, this game does have 10 million downloads. So this could be the next wave. Let's just all doing Ryan a favor, make him a trillionaire from YouTube from all the downloads. Okay, so I'm in the desert now. Oh, but there's, a, you know what? It's a little more sophisticated even than Temple Run because they're throwing in all these different, you know, obstacles and stuff. Okay, so we're at 3,500. We're almost where we want to be. See another power up. I'm going to see what this does. You really shouldn't be stopping me mid-game like that. You got an attractor. When you equip one, guns will appear. Oh, Gus will appear. Three, two. Oh, that is very nice of them. Okay, I'm done with this game. Pretty fun. Clearly put a lot of thought into it. I can see where it has 10 million downloads. This is very, very friendly for kids who are under the age of 10. It's like a better Subway Surfers in my opinion. And if you thought that was crazy, well, Ryan has another game called Race with Ryan, which is $30 on Steam. And as you can guess, it is a racing game, kind of very like Mario Kart-esque. All right, Ryan, let's see. All right, single player. I clearly want to do single player. It's a very cute avatar in the middle. I'm already pretty hyped about this. Let's just do a fast race real quick. Let's do Ryan's playroom. Get a little look into what's happening here. Choo Choo Gus, of course. And we're going to play on easy mode. Let's see how easy this actually is. So here we go. Choo Choo Gus. I don't know what the controls are. Wow, you could even do this. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. So this is again, 
I think they just take from games that are already successful, like Mario Kart and Subway Surfers, and now we're creating something. If I could win this game, there's no way I shouldn't be beating arguably like five-year-old um, computers. My question is, who is ahead of me? I have no idea who's ahead of me. I don't know if I could drift. I don't know if I'm asking for too much. All I know is I am about a, a lap into this, and I'm not in first place, which is killing my ego right now. Who's throwing bananas down? Oh, this guy, he's dropping glue everywhere. Flying Panda AI. Guess what? It's all about human creativity. Leave AI in the past, baby. Am I right, gamers? So this is like legitimately Mario Kart. It must be so surreal. Like Ryan, he's too young to realize the implications of what he's doing, but he's like building a Justin Bieber level fandom just with people who are under the age of 10, which is insane. Is that Skibbity Toilet? I thought it was. Like he's doing something incredible. Ryan, I'm going to try to make this interesting. So I'm going to stop until somebody gets past me and the moment they get past me is when I'll go again. Oh, wait, how am I in second? I didn't see anybody pass me. Third, okay, wait, this is bad. This is bad. I did not expect this. This is going this is going way worse than anticipated. I don't know where they are. Maybe they're taking an alternate route, but I am not in first anymore. Starting to sound the alarm. Second place. Uh, Oh no, what did I do? Oh no, okay, I'm in first again. Too close for comfort though. I don't feel comfortable anymore. I think there's people like genuinely below me that are just very close to, to passing me somehow. Let's not fool around here. I thought this was like Mario Kart. I guess everybody just takes a different route in this game, but guess what? Don't matter because Big Chugus is going to be the winner. Let's go, Big Chugus. I think that's your name. Probably botched it. Big Chugus with the win. So what do I get? Like points, money. Let's see what their currency is. Hey, nice. I can just go Ryan cheering for me with his Ryan's merch on, playing his Ryan game in his Ryan room. Okay, Ryan, I played your game. I'm done now. Thank you. All right, so this game is called Markiplier Adventures, which is obviously for Markiplier. I think this game was made in conjunction with him or it was a fan-made game. Regardless, there he is, the man in the flesh himself, Mr. Markiplier. All right, so I don't know if this is going to be a horror game, an adventure game. Right now, it's just a classic like Mario-esque game where I'm just going through each level. Don't know what to expect. I'm throwing... Why am I throwing mustaches? Very weird weapon of choice. I'm just going to follow this all the way down. La 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 not feeling too well today. Okay, so there's some dialogue that you can't see that I'm clicking through. Nurse Joy. Oh, that just took a turn. Okay, so here me and the nurse, are, I guess, are just freaked out at the fact that there's a demon running around in here. Now Markiplier yelling, look at that. What just happened? All right, so now do I, what happens if I run into her? Is it a bad look to run into her? Okay, should have known that, that's my bad. Okay, so I guess I just have to escape her. Can I like dodge her? Wait, where are you going? Shouldn't you be like killing me? This is not what I expected. Okay, how about I just get as far away as you as possible? And I guess there's like a finish line or something at the end. Maybe that's what we're eyeing here. Yeah, I don't know if Markiplier had his hand in this game. If he did, I think it's a pretty interesting game. Like they made that nurse very attractive for no reason. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not into like the Markiplier lore in his channel. So maybe somebody who is can let me know if that nurse is like somebody who he maybe has fetishized in a video game. All right, did I escape? Okay, I mean, that's the game. That is Markiplier Adventures and it just ends here. It it ends right there. So maybe the worst game I've ever played in my life. So Markiplier, I know you're a creative guy, but this is not it. I don't think you made this though, to be fair. I think it's a fan game. If there's one person you can reliably count on to put her hand into every single aspect of the world, it's Jojo Siwa, who has a serial. She has like music. She has a clothing line. She has a YouTube channel. I'm sure she's like been offered shows by every streamer. And Nickelodeon paired up with Jojo Siwa to make Live to Dance. I don't know what it's going to be. I just see a bedazzled play button. So I'm going to click that right now. All right, there's Jojo. Hey everyone, it's Jojo here in bold. Boy, am I excited. Today is the premiere of Live to Dance. So it's a dance competition here. Love to see it. JoJo's Live to Dance competition starts today. Wait a minute. No way. Is that? Oh my God, it's you. It's JoJo Siwa. It's you too. What's your name? Can I change this name? Ooh, I wonder how crazy I could make this. Let's just make it a Taco Truck Man 9. No, I can't. Taco Truck 9. Are you ready for your first dance class, Taco Truck 9? Oh, looks like I can only do one thing. Make that magic happen. Here we go. Don't let her down. Perfect. All right, so it's like Dance Dance Revolution and you just trace instead of like step on the dance move. Bam. 
Cool. Thank you. I like I like the word cool. W. Okay. Bup, bup, bup. Amazing. Three stars. Wow, they're so lenient in these games. Then you play these like Steam games. It's like impossible to get a Steam achievement. Mission complete. You got some moves. That was awesome. Now let's get here for your first performance. Okay. <laughs> got an audience already. All right. I got to dress up for the show. So let's see what Jojo Siwa tells me to put on. No, she doesn't tell me. Okay. I thought she was going to be like a manipulative manager. All right. So I like how Jojo's also marketing her merch here. Let's wear something... USA. To wear USA, I have to watch an ad. I guess that's very American. So I guess I completed the mission just by watching a, a video, which is, I mean, that's the greatest thing I could think of. Okay, so I dressed up for a show. I've completed my dance mission. What else do I got to do? Rock the stage at the big show. Okay, I'm actually excited about this. Hey, everyone, it's JoJo's. Let's head backstage. All right, let's do this. Welcome to the dance studios. All right, so I can choreograph my dance. Okay, I like that move. Mix in a little bit of that and a little bit of that. Okay, I think we're good to go. Use these effects in the show to boost your vote. So you want me to rig the vote? I would never... Yo, yo, it's Jojo and Bow Bow. Okay, I'm gonna skip this. Here we go. Here's your big, big break here, Taco Truck Man 9. What we need from you is to put on the performance of a lifetime. Oh, I thought she fell for a second, but she's just doing those moves that we taught. Spam votes. Spam all the votes. Keep spamming votes. It's pretty crazy that I could just like spam my way to a victory here. Yeah, we're almost there. Oh, we, we're kind of, it's getting down to the wire here. I think, I think that's good. The video saved, thank you. Want that for later. Let's see tonight's score. Ashley, seventh place? What is this teaching to young girls about their confidence? I can't play this anymore. My confidence is shattered. So I'm incredibly excited about this one, but this is PewDiePie's Tuber Simulator, and it's like a YouTube simulator. And this was actually made by PewDiePie in conjunction with some other people. So this is like a legitimate game made by him, featuring him. I think it's the first of its kind besides the JoJo Siwa game. So here we go, new game. Pixelings are the only items that move around in your room. So I think it's like a point and click pixel 8-bit game. And yeah, again. It just, it's about chronicling the life of a YouTuber because I know a lot of people um, want to be one. Let's see how realistic this is. How's this going, bros? My name is PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Welcome to PewDiePie's Tuber Simulators. Make a video. Okay, first you need a camera. Let's go to the store. Not enough views to buy anything. So why would you just do that? Okay, thanks, PewDiePie. Let's put it right there. Hmm, that's where mine is. You guys probably can't tell, but all right, make a video. Okay, let's do Tuber screaming at a game. Thank you, 33 views. Is this supposed to be, what is it supposed to be? Am I supposed to use this for something? All right, let's put it there. Uh, no, I don't want to buy it. I don't. How about we just make more videos? I guess I have to. Okay, fine, I'll buy it. Put it there. Yes, good. Let's wait for the shipping. Oh, so I could use my money to get fast shipping so I don't have to wait. Okay. Oh, the box. <laughs> Another box is in the box. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to make some videos now. So no more PewDiePie. Uh, let's go to the great social justice. I don't know, something boring. Editing. Okay. A whole lot of stuff going on. Okay, I can get a mat. Seems nice. We're getting that. This video is still going, generating views. Oh, this is blowing up. I'm going viral. Oh my God. I'm going to get probably 250 views on this. Look at my money going up. 24 bucks. Oh, promo code. I wonder if he still cares about this game. Like, you think anything happens with it? All right, let's... No time. I can't... Okay, cool. New shipment. We got a rug. Nice. Oh, cool. So I could like build out my room finally. Okay, let's put a window here. We're going to build out the nicest room you could think of. Finish. Yes. Perfect. New shipment. Window. Good. Oh, now I'm really moving. Schmoving. Here we go. Claim. Bam. 21 something I just got. What else can I get? Affordable items? Hmm. Okay, I guess everybody needs this in their room. Lock it in. All right, so this game is gonna require me to obviously like sit and play a lot more than what I just did right there. It's honestly not worth it. Like I'm not gonna sit here and just like build out a complete lifestyle in this game because I'm honestly doing that right now. Like I'm trying to live the tuber simulator lifestyle myself. It's pretty cool. I like point and click games. I think the animation is pretty solid. I like the idea of having a game that you can kind of like work towards something over time. It's not just like a quick, you know, subway surfer immediately get that stimulation. You kind of have to like build towards it. So all in all, pretty solid. PewDiePie. Good game. And boy, oh boy, if you thought that was interesting, well, we have a treat for you here. It is PewDiePie Legend of the Brofist, which is an actual built out game for $8, I believe on Steam. So this one is even more proper. There's like him and his pugs. Let's see what this is about here. Oh, here we go. I have no power ups right now and I can collect coins. This is like a live view of his house. All right, so what's this? Anything below here? Oh. I found Marzia. She's safe. And now she follows me. What a beautiful game. It's a game about love. What's below here? Can be Edgar. Oh, it's a crab. Dr. Crab joins the party. Thank you, Dr. Crab. So it's just an adventure game. It is quite sick. Oh, no, the barrels. All right, so we're going to get up to there. Oh, no. Another barrel. It's okay. I have some hearts. I have some hearts. We can afford this. 
Edgar joins the party. Okay, Edgar. It's okay. It's okay. All is good. I have a lot of hearts. I'm kind of curious what happens when I claim everything here. Oh, Maya. Okay, so I got my... Basically, my entire team is here now. What are we going to find in here? Dig, dig, dig. Pink headphones. Swag. Uh, what is that? Is that a good guy? Okay, that's a bad guy. Okay, so this game, the entirety of this game is just like collecting things. That's kind of how I see things. That's okay. Plenty of hearts. I got four more hearts. Oh, cool. Okay. I could leave. There's the car. The fact this is a real game. Oh, nice. So I, I I think I did okay. You can now get Edgar Fart in the pants menu. Characters. Oh, who else do I have to unlock? I wonder if there's the likeness of other YouTubers in here. Oh, there's different kinds of levels. General Barrel. There's no escaping the wrath of the mighty tank. I don't understand any of these memes anymore. So we're going car to car. Boing. Good. Jump over the ducky. Jump over the ducky. Jump over the ducky. Jump over the ducky. Oh! <gasps> Okay, not gonna lie, I'm not gonna play this entire game. A little let down for $8. I guess fun adventure mode, but I just don't really understand the PewDiePie lore anymore. Like, I just don't really understand what's happening or what, like, the King Barrel is. I'm just not getting it. So, yeah, I think I'm out on this. This game that we're playing now is from a YouTuber named Morgs, who I've never heard of. I think, maybe, you know what? I maybe have heard of Morgs before. I know people don't like him. That's, like, all I know, though. But I don't know, like, who he actually is. I don't know what type of content he makes. But this is called Morgs' Ultimate Challenge, and it's a mobile game that still exists, and he created this. So let's go ahead. So again, we're going to make our avatar body type. Let's make him that. We're going to make our guy make him look like that. I feel like that looks like me. Hairstyle. So very simplified what we could do. I did not make my guy black, but I guess all of a sudden we're black. So, okay. So this must be Morgs. Again, like, I don't know who he is, but I think that's him. Swipe food at your mouth, remove the other stuff, beat my score, win a thousand. So he gives away money. What am I doing? Oh, I'm eating all of it. Taco, pizza, pizza, barrel. No, turkey, cat. Oh, shouldn't have eaten that. That, barrel, no, pizza, okay. Bam, 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 bam. Am I, okay, good. Eat this, just don't eat the barrels or the cats. A little bit of a combo here, yeah. Yeah, now we're going. Eat up, morgues. Game over, 66K, no thanks. How was that? Okay, so we beat morgues, okay. So far, I like your game, Morgs. Hope you're a good person, too. I don't know why people don't like you. I don't know why. Okay, I unlocked a shirt. Uh, I'll do it. $2,000, I get to unlock a random t-shirt. Nice. I can unlock new legs? Wait, that's sick. Nice, okay. Is is that literally it? So there's nothing more to do. I have to reach level three, which requires me to play this again. Okay, just for the sake of leveling up, I'm gonna play this once more. All right, my goal is 100,000 this time. I know I could do this. 100,000 is not that crazy. It's not that crazy. I'm already at 70K. Got it. Okay. We'll let the time go down. 100k. Should be enough for level three. Morgs, again, you have been defeated. Awesome. Thanks. Good. Got some money. Leveled up to level three. Jump on the furniture. Okay, here we go. Okay, good, good, good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wow, this is kind of fun. Not gonna lie. I'm having a lot of fun. I like Morgs. I like Morgs. Is that controversial? I don't care. I like his game. His game's a lot of fun. His game's a lot of fun. Maybe the best time I've ever had. Maybe, ever, possibly. Oh, get that Rolex. Game over, how'd I do? Another dub, all right, I enjoyed this game. Morgs, you make good games. I don't know anything else about you besides that people don't like you, but I will say, from forming my own opinion on your game, that was pretty fun as far as like a cheesy mobile game goes. Pretty good. So this next game is called Dream Daddy Dad Director's Cut, and it's made by Game Grumps, the channel. I don't know what is about to happen here. You just see like a bunch of like dreamy dads. I don't know what this is. This looks like it's arguably gonna be something that I'm not gonna enjoy playing, or I might enjoy too much. Z, 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 all right, someone's sleeping. What is a dad simulator? So am I gonna be like a dad or am I like, dad, wake up. Wake up, pretend to be dead, five more minutes. Uh, oh, I get to choose. Uh, let's wake up. So I guess this is my daughter. I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of a living room, spooning on a moving box. Morning, Manda Panda. Dad, breathe, brush your teeth. I like this. Dad tip, shave with the grain. All right, so I got to build my dad. All right, so as always, we got to do a classic dad bod. Ah, a little bit too much. We want to live long. We want to be a dad that's going to be there for our kids late into life. So we don't want to be one of these two guys. Let's try to be like a little bit of an athletic build. Let's go right here. And hey, uh, let's go. She looks kind of dark skin. So let's, maybe not that dark skin. She looks maybe like around here. Let's go ahead and get that Squidward jaw, that handsome Squidward jaw. We're gonna give ourselves a man bun and it's gonna be pink. Let's make him a little bit like silly. No, that's a little too silly. Let's make him like a little bit like that. Like, what do you want? Nobody's gonna mess with our guy here. And then he has like an entire beard. Let's make the beard like white. And then as for glasses, I think our guy's looking good right here. Looking good, daddy. Name that dad. Taco. 
truck man. Be that dad. All right, here we go. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it's done, I think. Wait, straggler? What's in it? Whoa, I haven't seen this in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile. That's the coolest babe I've ever seen. The only way your father and I, or the only way your mother and I, so we get to decide if he's gay or straight. Uh, let's make him, I think it's a curveball if this guy is straight. So let's make him straight. The only way your mother and I, he's gonna be like the most fascinating individual of all time. The only way your mother and I can get you to stop crying was to put sunglasses on you. You spent the first two years. Okay. All right. So we're going through just like a bunch of memories. There she is. Halloween. It'd be more impressive if I was in any of these pictures. And this was you in your horse phase. Ah, Amanda Panda. Okay. And then finally we have this. I love you, Amanda. This was the day you were born. It's kind of a funny story. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place 20 years ago. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. We'll forever hold a place in my heart. So they're moving out of the home. Moving winds, pulling away. So sell me on our cool pad. Okay, so what do we got? What's cool? Washer and dryer, two car garage. I think washer and dryer is a flex. If you have a washer and a dryer, you're not going to the laundromat. I think that's a pretty big flex. Have you ever had dirty clothes for most of my life? Yes. We'll worry about that no longer as our place now features machinations that will not only clean your clothes, but dry them in upper class luxury, I fear. The game is super well made. Uh, it's just going to be like a bunch of back and forth chatting going on. So I'm not here to play the entire game. I'm here to look at the product that Game Grumps made. And as a YouTuber created game, as a simulator, I'm not the biggest fan of simulators, but this simulator is pretty solid. So Dream Daddy, pretty good. Not going to lie, pretty solid. So now we're going to look at some YouTuber games that are no longer available, but there is gameplay of them online. So they do exist in history. So we're going to check them all out. There's also a couple in here that I'm unable to play like this one right now, which is the odd ones out. Let's bounce. It's a game. It, I think it's only for iOS and I'm not going to screen record and just do that whole thing on my phone. So we're just going to watch some gameplay of it. So it's just like a flick and point game. And then like you basically just like bounce and collect coins the entire time. So odd ones out created this. And I think it was like pretty successful. And what's cool about this game is like you can kind of control when you want to bounce. So your own momentum. And you see how he's getting younger as like it goes on like the top of the key. It says like how many days backwards like Benjamin Button he's aging. So we're we're about to reach a milestone because this guy playing is like an absolute beast. And I don't watch Odd Ones Out, but apparently there's a lot of references to like what he talks about in his videos here. Like maybe he talks about like his teen years, but that's it. So there we have it. That is Odd Ones Out Let's Bounce game. I'm sure a couple people have played it. Looks pretty fun. I think that one is already like a higher tier YouTuber created game. So now we have Epic Mealtime, who if you don't know what this is, this is a channel in which they made like quite literally the most epic meals you could think of. The channel was insane. And they ended up making a mobile game, just like any YouTuber back in the day, I guess. And basically what you do in this is this is Harley Mortison, who's like the main guy, and you just throw him stuff. So right now he's eating gay bacon, which they used to call like those sour strips. Gay bacon, that's actually an amazing name for it. And you'll see like they throw away carrots and he just eats like meat and gay bacon. There he is. Steak, steak. Oh yeah, broccoli? Nope, don't want any of that. Oh, there's a pig. Oh yeah, and then for the tur bacon, <laughs> I guess you just like keep tapping quickly and you could consume the entire pig. Such a gluttonous game. What a channel, what a game. All right, so this here is Endless Ducker, which is Dude Perfect's game that they created. And this is just kind of like a similar game to those other styles where you're just like running, dodging obstacles and see how far you can get. Endless Ducker. So they're just going through like the Dude Perfect headquarters. You're just temple running it slash subway surfer, but it's horizontal, which I guess is interesting. But it's just a classic scroll game. And this guy apparently who we're watching has the world record. I think this game had a lot of lagging as I remember. And so a lot of people said it was unplayable. But yeah, ultimately, you can't play this game anymore. I don't think it exists. But this is Dude Perfect's created game, so pretty fun. Now, a game that you are able to play from Dude Perfect is Dude Perfect 2, which is like a combination of Angry Birds and like, I don't know, some game where you just like shoot basketballs. And you're just doing trick shots by angling them correctly and choosing the right amount of power. And that's all there is to it. So I think that's Tyler, the main guy. He's like your sole avatar. There you go. So he's going to knock down, I think, these tires. That's what it looks like. Oh, no, they're going to, he's doing a bounce shot. I think this game still exists. This, or maybe there's Dude Perfect 3 at this point. Oh, okay, so he uses the bowling ball. Now he's able to shoot the basketball. Okay, pretty cool. Here it goes. Dear. And you got a world record. Now, Smosh created a game called Food Battle the Game, which is basically like a spinoff of their popular Food Battle video. And as you can see, there's like a whole bunch of mutant foods. This is so like Smosh labeled. Here's Anthony Padilla. And the game of the goal, the goal of the game, I should say, is to just go around like defeating people. So like you're having like literal food battles. This is what one of them would look like, for instance. Here we go. Pink frosted donut. You're going to destroy and you're going to collect coins from it. Come into my kitchen. I'll cook you a real weapon. 
weapon? How about a burrito bomb? And yeah, you, you basically collect a bunch of like interesting food weapons so then you can go out into the wilderness and defeat other foods with it and just battle them. And you might be wondering, what is the apex of this game? Where does this lead to? More intense foods. The progression of this game just lies within the type of foods that you battle. See, ultimately you're getting bombarded by a couple of donuts by using your burrito blaster that your mom made. And that's it. So that's food battle. Again, you can't play this any longer. Looked fun for the time. I mean, if you're Smosh, why wouldn't you make this game? This game's a no-brainer. So even H3H3 created a game called H3H3 Ball Rider, and you can no longer play this game, but again, it was like in this like eight pixel scroll feature, and it, it features Ethan voicing H3, and I think you just roll and just collect the balls, and that's literally it. YouTubers were on something back then. They were just creating the most simple games, and they were just feasting off of it, making millions of dollars. Like, what is this? All right, then finally, we have Fred Figglehorn, the game, which is like made after Fred and he used to be on mini clip. If you don't know who Fred is, he used to be the most popular YouTuber. And it looks like there's a little bit of a story mode to it where Fred sees somebody. And then it's one of these games where you can't get caught. So again, like horizontal subway surfers is how you could think about it. And if he gets caught, he dies. That simple. All right. So I think a lot of YouTubers should probably stick to making YouTube videos because there's no value in creating a game because I mean, clearly a lot of them aren't very good at it. Granted, this was a long time ago, like 2014, a lot of these, especially the flash games and the mobile games. So maybe, you know, cut them a little bit of slack. If anything, I think Ryan's world maybe had the best. Other than that, maybe Laser Beam. One I didn't show was Mr. Beast's Finger on the App, and that's because that game is not even a game. It's just like a single thing that you do, and I think everybody in the world basically played it at this point. Anyways, if you guys created some games, send them to me on Instagram or something, then I'll check them out, and if there's enough of them, then maybe I'll make a whole video on it. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more content, make sure to click here, click here. Otherwise, subscribe on your way out, and I will see you next time. Peace.